during Tuesday night's Emma Celebrity. South Africa, the campmates said an emotional goodbye to Amir Khan. The boxer was voted to leave by his fellow celebrities after he made it clear he was ready to go home. However, as he hugged his campmates goodbye, Toff and Paul Burl seemed to be most affected by his exit. Paul even broke down in tears admitting he was sad to see Amir leave the jungle. However, speaking on behalf of Heart Bingo, body language expert Adrian Carter shared her thoughts on the elimination. Adrian believed Paul's reaction was genuine, however, she felt Toff was not as distressed as she appeared. The expert began, the Aaron camp is very somber with the thought of one leaving. All seemed to genuinely feel it hard to choose apart from Toff. Although she proclaimed she didn't like it, I didn't see any signs of distress as I did in all of the other campmates shown. Don't miss! Piers Morgan launches fresh attack on Harry over feud with William, video, Adele James hits back at Queen Cleopatra backlash, insight, Immerdale's charity gets ultimate revenge on Chloe and Mac, latest, she says the right thing, but I think she is determined to win. She continued, Amir looked genuinely happy and relieved to be selected as the first to leave. He sowed the seeds with his campmates by telling them he's ready to speak to his children. Turning her attention to Paul, Adrian shared, Paul is genuinely upset at Amir going, we see real tears and even his skin tone changes color, which you can't fake. Paul's emotions are very close to the surface which could be interpreted as fake as they are so often seen but I don't think this is the case. The expert claimed Paul was coming across as a genuinely personable man, adding, from the start he's been positioning himself to be a paternal leader in the camp. He's a good support to others and he's always willing to be vulnerable. He's learned to be in touch with his emotions and allows them rather than shuts them down like a lot of men do. Emma Celebrity. South Africa airs weekdays at 9 p.m. on ITV.